Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Robbie the Painter here. So glad you stopped by here. So glad to see you guys again. If you would do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share my, my videos. Before we get started on today's episode, uh, a good friend of mine who's a fellow artist, her name is Manakshi Sundarizan, and I wanted to share this with you, some of her art, this one in particular. And I love this. To me, it has the look of some of the old masters. I know it's got some Star Wars themes in it and everything, which I think is way cool. Just coolest thing ever. But the brush strokes and the, and the colors used in the sky and, and you know, near the bottom, uh, some of the water and, and that is just amazing. And I wanted to share that with you. I'll, I'll run the links for social media and that and check her out. Anyway, let's get started on this episode. Robbie the painter. I've got a painting on, on the canvas here and we are going to do some painting. I'm not just going to tell you about this painting, although I am going to tell you about the painting. This is one I did a couple of years ago and I love this. I love the sky. Uh, I love this path and the trees and that. And the reason I didn't put leaves on anything is because of this sky. I did not want to cover up that sky. I just, I thought it was so cool. I set it on the wall and I thought it's not finished. Remember I told you guys a few episodes ago, sometimes you get a painting where you think you've made some mistakes or it's just not right. Um, I like this, but it wasn't finished. So I set it aside and I thought, well, I'll have to wait until I figure something out. So one of my wife's hospice nurses saw this hanging on the wall and she said, it looks like the Wizard of Oz to me. And she goes, I'm really into the Wizard of Oz. And I was like, what? Light bulb went off and I was like, yeah, it's the Yellow Brick Road. We are gonna turn this into the Yellow Brick Road. And uh, that's what we're gonna do on today's episode. Here's the colors that we're gonna be using, the oil paints. And remember we use odorless mineral spirits or odorless paint thinner uh, to clean our brushes and that. Let's get started. This is one of my new brushes. I like these. This is part of my Christmas present from my daughter. Thank you, Vicki. Aspen Princeton brush, flat, flat long. Got some paint thinner and I'm going into phthalo blue and I'm gonna block something in down here. I'm just gonna, and I'm using paint thinner with the phthalo blue because I want it to dry fairly quickly. While this is drying, we're going to work on the yellow brick road. That's the I, that's the plan. I don't want this very dark, but I want to see an outline here of what I'm working with. I just did a little pencil sketch right over the top of this. So I guess we're all in on this now. You know, there's no turning back. I do like this painting, you know, as is, but it needed something. And I just, for the last couple of years, I was just, I didn't know. Didn't know what I wanted. And then the nurse said, Wizard of Oz. Again, I've told you guys lots of times. I've never had any art classes, so, I, you know, a lot of this is experimentation for me. Yes, there's a lot of stuff you can watch on YouTube, but I have trouble retaining some of that stuff. I, a lot of times I just have to do stuff and make my own mistakes and figure it out. So if that's the kind of painting, you know, that you do is like, you know, do your own thing, make, make some mistakes and go, oh, and they're not always mistakes. I mean, you know, you can correct just about anything, but if you're learning as you go, that's good. Let's come into some titanium white and little tiny bit of cadmium yellow. I want a very light, bright yellow. Going into a little bit of Indian yellow, gonna mix it with that cadmium yellow. 
just start getting some different shades, colors. I think I'm going to use mostly paint thinner on this and not linseed oil, mainly because I want it to dry a little quicker. And the paint thinner will help that process. So how you guys been? Good? Starting the new year, 2023, a continuation of an old painting, but it's still my first painting of 2023. So this is it right here. I turn my, my light towards the wall, getting a little reflective light. So hard to get the lighting right. What I'm saying is this isn't one of those paintings that you can, you know, follow along and paint along with me, but you can still take this idea and use it as your uh, composition in your painting. So that is something you could do. Makes a little brown in with my Indian yellow, darken some of this up. I think I want it to be darker as it gets closer to us, lighter back here in the distance. And I keep standing back, just like I tell you guys always stand back, take a look and see what looks good to you. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to apply these colors and the shade values. Yes, I'm sure there's some teachers out there that say, well, if it's in the light, it needs to be lighter. If it's in the shade, it needs to be darker. Right, I understand that. But sometimes you can lighten things up if it looks like you need to lighten it up, or you can darken it up if you need to darken it up. It's your painting, right? You do what you want on it. The indication of some bricks is what I'm doing right now. Trying to stay, <laughs> trying to stay in the same direction. I knew this was going to be a little difficult, but I just had to do it. It's the only solution to this painting that I could see was doing the Wizard of Oz. I hope this turns out good. You guys will find out. Thank you again for being here. I appreciate Carol. I know you're watching. Sherry and uh, two friends named Sherry. Sherry and Sherry, I know you're both watching. Thank you. If you're wondering why I don't just put a big old glob of paint on this, I don't want a lot coming off. Kind of just getting a little on the edge of this, this palette knife and seeing if I can't just get a little to come off. Maybe behind here, this starts fading out. We don't see the indication as much. Closer together, smaller as we, as we get farther away. That part I do know. Perspective, that kind of thing. I had a class in junior high where we had to do like a one of those cinder blocks, you know, and you had to draw. They put a cinder block in the in the room and that. So I learned some basic drawing because I used to doodle when I was younger but I had like a half a semester of, of some perspective stuff and I think they covered that kind of thing. Never any painting classes or any real art classes. I'm going to put some marks going the other way. So we went this way at an angle to make it look like this this pathway is coming towards us. The bricks are all I'm trying to keep it you know my lines as straight as possible. Not all of them are, but that's okay. Not going to worry about that. But now I'm going to go back and go horizontally with a couple of lines to indicate the bricks. Don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. I'm going to do them kind of random, but keeping the that horizontal, keeping that as straight as I can. I'm just kind of looking on this side if there's a line right here, I'm imagining if it went through here where it would pick up. So I'm trying to be consistent about a couple things, but again, it's not gonna be perfect.
You know what I was thinking? Anybody know what I was thinking? No? Uh, all right, I'm going to tell you. We're going to tackle Dorothy. I think we're going to move on. We're going to leave the uh, yellow brick road alone. We're going to tackle Dorothy. Let's do it. This is fun. Never done anything like this before. I like saying that. It's like, you know, doing something for the first time. It's fun. It's scary. It's fun. Don't know how it's going to turn out. This is a mix. What I'm putting on right now is a, a lighter blue. It's the phthalo blue with quite a bit of white mixed in with it, titanium white. Let's see how that looks. Just trying to soften the, the edges where the folds in her dress, a little darker, going into the light. That's my idea, at least in theory. There, that looks a little better. We're gonna leave the arms alone for right now. Can move on down. Let's start working on the legs. I'm just going lighter and lighter with my colors. About three shades mixed up of what I thought was her skin tone. I'm not sure, but I'm just applying each one starting dark to lightest. We'll see, we'll see how that works. <laughs> I don't think it's terrible. I mean, the the painting overall, I, I'm liking. This would probably be darker right underneath the dress. I might not be going dark enough. I don't think I am. All right, we're gonna go dark. Then we'll stand back. Better, I think. I don't know. I like that. I like it. Okay, let's go into a little darker. I'm gonna put my palette down. Okay, still with me? You guys having fun? Me too. Let's tackle the basket and uh, put a bow on this thing. I think it's mostly browns. We're going to start with a uh, dark sienna, kind of rough this thing in. I think the inside of the basket would be so dark, we don't know what's in there. At least that's what we're going to say. Inside of the basket's very dark. Okay, we're just going to see part of the basket. She's carrying it in front of her. And so we're only seeing part. So the next thing would be to go into some white.
just trying to make it look like a basket. Some of the weave patterns here. Next thing we're going to do, put a little shadow. All this is dry, the, the trees and everything, but I think I want to highlight a little bit of the tree and then we'll be done. As Bob Ross would say, bring his little foots. He's, he's got some foots to stand on. We're just going to show those off, highlight them a little bit. Maybe over here on this one, same thing. A little highlight where the sun is shining through this magical forest. Might just hit the tree in a couple spots. Grabbing a little darker color and going right over the top of what I just did. Just to tone it down just a little bit. I don't want to take the focus away from Dorothy, but I do want these trees as you start looking around the painting in different areas, I want you to go, oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that, you know, over there, that looks good. We're, we're getting close. We're gonna add some shadows and shading uh, to the tree down here by the roots and uh, might thin that down, a little bit of paint thinner. Maybe a little brown, a little black. I'm thinking our light is coming from, you know, the sky somewhere up in here. There's, there's no sun in it, but our light's coming from this direction. So all of our shadows would be on, on this side of everything. And you notice I'm not going as dark with my shadow as the tree itself. We know it's there, that kind of thing. There's already one over here on this side. Just a little detail, put some shadows underneath these trees. You guys can do this at home with, you know, paintings you've already done, um, you know, whatever style you're doing at Bob Ross, or if you're doing traditional using linseed oil, and you wanna, you know, you're looking and you're like, I, I like my painting. Uh, what else could I do to it? Something as simple as figuring out where your sun is, and we don't see a sun in this, but we're just gonna assume that our light source is coming from back here near this, this pink or the white, and it's traveling in a certain direction. And then keep all your shadows, uh, you know, that, that direction. Adds a lot. It's a little thing, adds a lot. I'm just gonna add a little bit of yellow here and there. I wanna make sure we know it's the yellow brick road. I think I wanna bring the blue in her dress as if it's reflecting on the trees. I don't know if that would happen. I'm just seeing. So this is one of those things where, I don't know. What are you doing, Rob? What are you doing? I don't know. We're gonna try something. We're gonna go into dark. I think this is my phthalo. Yeah, phthalo blue. Here and there. keep looking at this little fern bush down here. Do I want to put some color on that? Let's stay in the black. Get some more paint thinner. Let's sign this. There we go. We have a side painting. Wizard of Oz themed. Got Dorothy. Got the yellow brick road. And I finally finished one of my paintings that, that I did a few years ago that I, I just, I liked it, but it, I never thought it was done. Now it's done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, and uh, come back and see me again.
I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.